Hi everyone, so we finally have a Siren Gem mod 10.2 release available which is based off Android 4.3 Huge thanks to Prox user from Exit Developers Forums who is currently working on the project Now unfortunately the only build which we have available is a nightly build and you should all be familiar that these builds have bugs and some features not working correctly but hopefully he will fix them so yeah, not only is this ROM announced, but it's also released for download, so you can find the download link in the link in the video description. Here in there, download the zip out your SD card and begin installation if you're willing to test this. So in this video I'm going to show you the instructions on how to install this and we're gonna have, have, take a quick look at what it contains and how things work. Okay, so once you download the zip out your SD card, the next step you need to do is you need to power off your phone. So power off your phone. I would also like to point out that this requires a rooted phone and Coco Mode Recovery installed. You definitely need Coco Mode Recovery on this, otherwise you may break your phone. Anyways, wait for the phone to power off and then hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. There we go. If you see blue letters here, it means that you're booting into recovery mode. And now here we are in Coco Mode Recovery. Now installing this is quite easy. So once you are in recovery mode, the first thing which you need to do is you need to select wipe data, then choose yes to confirm. Now wait for it to wipe the data. As you can see. This could take a few seconds, but don't worry, it will be complete. There we go. Next, choose wipe cache partition choose yes to confirm once again wait a few seconds and it is complete you are back to the main menu now as you can see so from here now head into install zip which is the second option then choose the last option choose zip from external SD card select that and now choose the cm10.2 zip file, here it is, select that, choose yes to confirm and it will begin installing. Now you just need to be patient and wait for it to say that it is complete. And there we go, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Once it says that, press the back button and choose the first option to reboot system now. It is already selected, so just tap on, uh, so just press the home key. There we go, now the phone will reboot and you should be in sound gem mode to 10.2 and okay so while the phone is booting up let's list a few of the things that the developer has mentioned and uh, so as for what is working in this ROM everything seems to be working pretty much like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 2G, 3G, 4G and uh, other things unfortunately for now the camera doesn't work in the current build which I'm installing and some apps seem to have graphical issues other than that, everything else seems to work nicely, according to the developer. Also, I would like to point out that the eye infrared blaster here is working. All you need for this is an app, as this one is supported in this version, in Cyanogen Mod 10.2. And there are also some governors added, as well as IO schedulers. We're gonna take a look at all of these once we set up the Cyanogen Mod. Okay, so this is the welcome screen, so let's tap on next. So I'm just gonna actually skip these things here. So as you can see, setup is complete. And we are on the home screen finally. Okay. As you can see, this is the home screen which we get. Let's take a quick look at the Android version here in the About Phone tab. Here it is. So, there you have it. You are currently running Android 4.3 Android 4.3 Jelly Bean So the ROM feels kind of smooth just like 10.1 from the looks of it Everything seems to be working just fine so as you can see I can establish a connection, the Wi-Fi is working and I'm browsing the internet at the moment as you can see everything is working just fine. It is able to load up the posts and everything else. So yeah that is working fine. 
so he claims that the camera is not working and uh, yep can't connect to the camera hopefully this will be fixed soon now let's take a look if we get google play added to this nope there is no google play in here as you can see so you need to download manually and install g apps and here we've got the no free cpu control app just to show you the governors as you can see we have a choice of governors here as well as io schedulers so this is a really cool add-on which developer has added to Sino Gemo 10.2 so that's pretty much it you can pick up this ROM from the link in the video description you can try it out for yourself and remember this is a nightly build so it might have bugs and features that are not correctly working at any time you can check the link for any updates if the developer has uploaded an updated version of this ROM and that is all everyone hope this video was helpful thank you for watching once again and I'll see you next time goodbye